since COVID, uh, it's become more and more popular for people to work from home. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we've, we've uh, worked from home before, we've known other people to work from home, but it's become really popular um, after the lockdown, quarantine, all that sort of stuff. And it's, I think it's more accepted and some people are even kind of looking for that kind of work. That's where you work from home. I don't think people realized before that you could that you were given up your whole life to go work for somebody else, nine to five or mm. whatever the hours they give you, yeah. 40 hours a week, you Locked have two a days or off. Whatever. Right. right. Um, they tell you when you can take vacation yeah. and when you can be out sick and this and that and the other. And I and think people didn't realize what they were giving up. Right. And you know, and then going from that, you have the uh, van life people who are, you know, kind of throwing caution to the wind and yeah getting out in their uh in their sprinter van or whatever while they're young not waiting until right, they retire right, and decide they're going to see the country uh, right and they're going to ride around and live in this thing uh some people do it with the rv mm -hmm. um there's been a fad with people selling their home selling everything they have and putting it into a nice rv and now they're going to live in the rv and they drive around um they visit place to place uh, We've known people to do the same thing with sailboats. We actually even considered that at one time. We've owned a few sailboats, and we actually considered maybe doing that. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, there's YouTube channels right now. Some people we watch that's, you know, they visit the, the Caribbean every year. They, you know, sail back and forth on their boats. Um, but we were kind of thinking about, you know, when you expedite, you're kind of combining those two theories together. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what we're doing because, um, when you're expediting, you do spend most of your time in your truck. Um, they do make them comfortable, mm -hmm. right? It's like a, it's like a mini RV in a lot mm -hmm. of ways. Um, you've got all everything you need. You have your bed, you have your kitchenette, you have your refrigerator, your freezer. Uh, these ones, the units like we have, they actually have custom sleepers that have showers. There's mm -hmm. ovens, microwaves, uh, most everything you have at home already. Right, it's our home away from home. And you know, you kind of pick and choose where you go, and the job itself is funding it. It's paying for the fuel for you to go to these places to pick up loads, to drop off loads. So right. uh, you're combining, you know, those lifestyles together. You're kind of working from home because, I mean, in a sense, the people who were moving into the RVs or, or whatnot, I mean, that becomes their home. And yes. that's kind of the way this is also. Home is where you park. Yeah. We're, we're in our truck all the time and you know wherever we park it that's where we are right uh, it's almost in it, it's how you look at it i mean in some ways it's almost like we're on vacation all the all the time we're constantly traveling uh, i mean we know people who own rvs that still work a nine to five and they're not able to really travel and enjoy the rv like they originally thought they were going to yeah, if you wait um, too late in life, you don't know what's, right. what's going to be handed and to you. And some people, yeah, some people, they have that plan. They're going to retire one day, and, uh, you know, they may end up having some health issues later where they're not able to, they don't feel like it. Now they're not going to enjoy it like they thought they would. Um, you know, there's all these scenarios to think about. Or people have to go back to work mm -hmm. after they think they can retire. Right. Some menial job that they really don't mm -hmm. want to be at. Right. Um and and uh, just to pay the bills but or, what we're or, doing or fund their travels even if that's still yeah. what they're doing so this uh this works for us because uh and i think it works for a lot of people that want right. to do expediting um they want to work together husband and wife teams uh they want to work from home which is this is your home yeah. uh we get up in the well, morning and you go to work and uh you at the end of the evening we're usually together at the end of the evening um Watching TV yeah. or doing just like you would be at home. Right. We're in different states mm. all the time. <laughs> you know, I mean, you know, of course, now we still do have our home and most people expedite do. Right. But, you know, still, um, while you're expediting, you do spend more time away from home than you do at home. Um, when your, you know, spouse is with you like this, you know, it's, 
it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. You're just traveling. Like I said, you're on vacation most of the time, is, if you look at it that way. Okay, guys, so if um, expediting is something you think you would be interested in doing, um, we've had people ask, I mean, can you really expedite with just a Class B license? And that's exactly what's required. Mm -hmm. um, it's like driving a school bus. Right. As long as you're not towing anything with a trailer, commercial vehicle-wise, uh, Class B covers it. So these expedite trucks, Class B is all that's required. So um, Get your endorsements. Yeah. All you have to do is get your endorsement. And, um, you know, probably the best choice would be... Um, uh, sign on with the fleet owner. Yes, because um, they had the trucks available, the right. expediting trucks. I know, uh, Just Exam like has, a, I think it's like a two minute application that you yes. can fill out, I think, examtransport.com, something like that. And um, yeah, do that, and that's that's the easiest way to get into mm -hmm. it, for mm -hmm. sure. And um, I mean, the return on your investment is huge. Oh yeah. Uh, especially comparatively. Uh, we've both been to college, and uh, we both have used our college degrees, uh, but I don't think our return on investment was as good as it was just getting our Class B license. Right, absolutely. Um, you know, that, that's for sure. And, you know, results varies from person to person. That's definitely been our experience. Um, so, I mean, it was almost like a, a no-brainer. Um, for a couple, you can easily combined uh, make a six figure, six figure salary every year um yes i mean you your first even, year out right your first year out. you don't even have to try hard to do that no I mean, learning yes so yeah i understand that's two people you know that's roughly 50 a year to, to be in six figure but you can definitely do more than that yes I mean, you can do more than like that like i said it's you know starting, starting out without really knowing what you're doing all the ins and outs of it you, you can easily do that right so, uh, no um, overhead right you're just driving the truck mm -hmm. um, and you know depending on where you live uh some places the money goes a lot farther so, oh yeah i mean there's there's places in the country where um it'd be difficult for you know someone to uh get a job for making that money especially you know the couple each of you have a job like that so right uh, some places you know that's money's not so great but um that's why it doesn't work for everybody uh, it definitely worked for us mm -hmm. and um uh, we've been very happy with our decision to do that um but yeah when people ask us class b all that's all that's necessary yeah pretty much um you want to get your Class B, um, of course, with air brakes, and uh, you want to get your uh, hazmat. hazmat endorsement and tanker endorsement helps also. Yes. Uh, I don't think tankers required per se, but um, definitely right. helps. Uh, we have had loads where you know um, another truck possibly would have taken the load, uh, but they didn't have a tanker endorsement. Right. Required a tanker endorsement, so therefore we got the load. And you get all these endorsements um, at the DMV, just right. like you do yeah, anything it's, else. You know, it's, it's an test extra on test a, to take, yeah, usually, on a that's all it is. Yeah. Um, and some of them, you know, just transfer, you don't have to take again. Um, the tanker is one of those. Mm -hmm. uh, we moved states and we didn't have to take the tanker again, it just transferred with our license. Uh, hazmat's a different story. That one you do have to take if you do. If you get your license in one state, move to another, transfer the license. You will have to take the hazmat again and also the background check with the fingerprints that goes along with that i think you have to do that every five years five years I think. I think, yeah. four or five i'm not exactly sure on that so don't mm -hmm. quote me on that but somewhere around that time frame you have to uh, uh do the background check again and fingerprints and whatnot but, we got our class b and uh yeah. and uh got contacted from looking up for um husband and wife husband and wife jobs and um with yep. exam and yep. pretty no. much threw us the keys and here we go yeah that's what turned us on to the whole expediting thing we didn't thing. really it's know not what exactly we were doing what we were looking for to start with we didn't know what we were looking for uh we were you know tossed around ideas to start up a business you know that we could do together mm -hmm. uh, looking at something we could do together you know just right period plain and simple and this just kind of fell in our lap uh, we were also very fortunate we got in at the time where you didn't have to go to a driving school it yeah. wasn't a requirement right at that point in time uh, we just had to we both we both had some experience driving trucks yes 
um, already, but uh, we didn't have our CDL license either. Right. So uh, we were just able to study, take the test, pass the test, go to the DMV, get our CDL license. And everybody we've talked to that out here on the road that are um, husband and wife, uh, couples driving, um, they're having a great time. They love it. Um, yeah. we, we can go to all the states, uh, even Alaska. Um, we don't go to Hawaii or Puerto no, Rico. No, that's, that's a little far <laughs> out there in the ocean for a truck to make it. <laughs> right. But, but I mean, we're yeah. talking about all the states, even Alaska. So uh, this is the best way to see the United States. Yeah. So we, we didn't, we hadn't traveled really that much until right. we did this. Yeah. And um, we've seen a lot of things now. We've seen a lot, lots mm -hmm. and lots of people and lots of places we would have right. never met and seen. Um, and, uh, and making good money. This is something that you can expedite your uh, retirement with. Right. And that's what we're doing, using it for. Yeah. We don't have to uh, work in, uh, our whole life uh, 40 hours a week. We can um, double up mm -hmm. and, and make yeah. more money quicker so that we can retire sooner, yeah. which is what we're doing. Pay our house off. Enjoy life what it's all about right but we've already seen everything then so we don't have to hook up the rv and go <laughs> all we want to do is go home and stay because <laughs> we're good now we don't have to we don't have to go see everything anymore um we will uh go visit our family but this is uh right now this is a cheap way to do it this is awesome um everything we do is uh paid for mm -hmm. so like we said we're uh, uh seeing people on the west coast the east coast uh, and home's kind of in the middle of the East Coast, and we're very, very happy. So, uh, if you're considering doing this, um, uh, check out Exam Online and uh, do the application and get started. It doesn't take any time at all. Thanks for watching. There's something about the way that you say my name. Make me forget everything when you call me late at night. I remember you touching my body, though you get to me deep where my heart is. Love me so good, but I wish I was heartless.